What's up guys, Brock here, bringing you another high school story. In case you missed the last one, I'll annotate it on screen for you right now. It was about a rent-a-cop that I nicknamed Tommy Tough Nuts, and uh, it's pretty funny, so I'd recommend checking that one out. Now, on to today's episode. I got into a little bit of a tussle, and we're going to go through that. Um, I never really got into any uh, fights in high school, like full-blown fist fights. This was not that, um, but I figured I would tell you guys about it. It was, it was close. It was real close to being a fist fight. But uh, yeah, my parents are teachers. They were at different schools. However, my dad coached baseball and football in uh, the high school I went to, so he knew a lot of the teachers. So it was like a fit, fist fight for me. That was not an option. Like I would have got absolutely destroyed at home with my parents. So yeah, that was just not an option for me. But you know... I, I had to stand my ground on this one. Um, I, I don't know. Me and this kid, basically, I'll set it up for you. We had always butted heads. I don't know what it was. We just always butted heads. He kind of was, like, super extra friendly with my girlfriend. And, like, he knew I didn't like him. And he was just a D-bag. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling. And this is a biased opinion. But anyway, we did not get along, okay? And it, it had not gotten anywhere physical. Just kind of, like... You know, we just knew we didn't like each other, maybe shit talking here and there, but, you know, nothing serious. And we had this um, class in high school called Team Sports, and everybody, it was the best gym class, it was only for like juniors and seniors, and it was very competitive, like very competitive. There was a board in the hallway, and if you won the championship for that, um, you know, sport or whatever it was, you got your picture up there with the team, and it was just like bragging rights, you know, and kind of cool but whatever. We were playing Kingpin. I don't know if you guys know the game, but it's with a little like soft uh, dodgeball basically. And there's a goalie that can't move outside of the circle and they have to protect this just like a pin, like a bowling pin. <clears throat> and you just have to knock it over with the dodgeball. But anyway, so we're playing and it's in the wrestling room. So it's padded mats on the floor, uh, you know, p mats on the sidewalls as well. So you know, there's it's a little bit rough, a little bit of pushing and shoving. Not, not too bad though. And this kid kind of bumps into me, right? And, you know, I didn't really do anything. And he bumped into me again. And this time I full on like two hands shoved him away from me. And he goes, and I was like a very, I took me a long time to hit puberty. And so I was skinny as a junior. I was still like very, very like skinny for the most part. This kid, and I wasn't tall either, but this kid, he was not tall. He was actually shorter than me, but he was like, you know, he was stockier, and uh, I think he knew how to fight or had gotten in fights before, so he was stockier than me. And when I pushed him, he's like, oh, big Brock, 120 pounds of pure muscle pushing me, ooh, like, and he said it really loud. So then all the kids on the, uh, like, standing to the side not playing, like, laughed or whatever, and that really is what got under my skin, and I was like, you know, okay, I didn't say anything, I didn't do anything. You know, we keep playing, maybe three, four minutes goes by, and it was still like we were kind of, there was tension, like we bumped into each other, he was saying shit, I was saying shit, and it was kind of building, and so what happened was, he was running up the side wall, you know, by a mat, with like his hand on a mat, and I was like a little bit to his right, and I wish I could like do this better for you guys it's gonna be kind of hard to explain but I was facing straight ahead and he was coming to my left and out of the corner of my eye I could see him coming and it was just like a just pure animal instinct I grabbed my wrist so if you guys grab your left wrist with your right arm so I like ducked my shoulder in real hard like that and I tucked it and I jammed it right into like his sternum like full speed just decked him like he didn't see it coming he was going forward and I just, like, he knocked on his back. Like, he, feet went up in the air. He went flying. Everyone on the baseline was like, yeah, there we go. Like, they knew something was going to happen. He stands up, rears back to punch. And, like, I just walked, I started walking away because, like, I jacked this kid up. Like, it was a sick hit. I'm not going to lie. It felt pretty freaking solid. I was amped. He stood up like he was about to swing. And I don't know what happened. He didn't, I don't know. He just decided not to or I think people kind of got in the way and it was funny because we had a substitute teacher that day the head football coach and he knew my dad pretty well like I said before how my dad coached football and 
So he goes, class is over, class is over. It was like five, ten minutes before it was supposed to be over because he didn't know what to do. So he called class off, and everyone's leaving, and he, the teacher was pissed. He comes back to me. My last name is Bender. I'll try to do my my best impression. And he goes, hey, Bender, cheap shot. And he was like, he like yelled at me, and it was so funny. I told my dad he didn't really care. But anyway, you know, so I had lunch the next hour. All these, all my buddies are like, dude, he said he's going to fight you. Like, he's going to try and pick a fight. You know, be prepared, all this shit. So I'm like, oh my God, like I've never been in a fight before. Like getting all anxious and, and stuff like that. And lunch goes by. I got an eye on this kid. Nothing. Nothing. Didn't stand up. Didn't even look at me. Nothing. And honestly, what I think is kind of cooler heads prevailed. But also, I think when I gave him that shoulder, like I'm telling you, it was solid hit. So... I'm guessing that combined with just he cooled off a little bit. He's just like, you know what? This isn't the greatest idea. So no fight happened, um, luckily. And it was funny because the substitute told our regular gym teacher, who was actually the head basketball coach, this guy was kind of intimidating, and he never talked to me. I heard that he talked to the other kid, and he had said, like, look, if you get into anything else like this, I'm going to kick you from the class. Because this kid had kind of, I think, gotten into stuff with other people before, but he never talked to me. I think he kind of knew that I was just like, this kid kind of instigated stuff sometimes. So he never talked to me, never said a word to me about the incident, but he talked to this other kid and told him to tone it down. So, so yeah, I kind of got a little cheap shot in there for free. Didn't get suspended. None of that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the kid had it coming, maybe not, but you know, it happened and, uh, he knew not to mess with me after that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, I'm not some big tough guy. I'm, I'm not I'm a little scrawny guy, but I had to stand up for myself this time. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.